Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for yacht Nelly. Nelly is a Beneteau Oceanus 45 from 2015, owner's version. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start the engine, first check that you are in neutral. To check this, push in the red button to engage neutral. If it pushes in, it is in neutral. When it pops out, you are sure you are in neutral. Hold down the power button on the panel. Once you hear the alarm, hold down start for two seconds. Once the engine is running, make sure you check that there is water flowing out the outtake of the back of the boat. When engaging into gear, push forward swiftly and then push further forward to increase the revs. To go to neutral, come back, have the vertical to check you're in neutral, push in the button. To operate reverse, click backwards and then apply your revs. To stop the engine, hold down stop for two seconds and then hold down power for two seconds to turn off the panel. For the bow thruster controls, the engine must be running in order to turn on the bow thruster. Press and hold both buttons for two seconds until you hear the beep and the bow thruster is on. Push and hold the port side to move the bow to port. Push and hold the starboard side to move the bow to starboard. Do not hold the bow thruster on for longer than five seconds at one time. You will burn down the batteries. To turn the bow thrusters off, hold down the two buttons again. Bow thruster is now disengaged. When anchoring with the control from the bow, open the forward hatch and remove the anchor control from its cradle. This has two controls on it, up, and down, controlling the main anchor. When anchoring, put the engine in neutral and apply 1500 to 2000 revs to help charge the battery while you are anchoring. It's important to lift the forward anchor hatch, secure it in place. On here we also have the colors marking how much chain you have. Green is for 10 meters, yellow for 20 meters, red for 30 meters and blue for 40 meters. There is 60 meters of chain on board Nelly. To let the anchor out, hold on the down button slowly. If you get to this point, you need to help the anchor across the threshold. Once gravity is holding the anchor, lower very slowly. so that the anchor does not swing and hit the bow of the boat, causing damage. When raising the anchor, make sure you pause every five seconds as to not overload the capstan. If the anchor becomes strained, stop and wait for the boat to get closer to it. Very important that the last part of the anchor raising is very slow as to maintain control. Once you have finished, make sure to put the anchor control back in the cradle and to close the hatch and close the locks firmly so you don't get water in. Then tie on the safety line for the anchor. To use the helm mounted anchor controls, the panel will automatically turn on when the engine is on. To lower the anchor, always have somebody on the bow to watch what is happening. Start by pushing on starboard side to put down chain. Have someone help the anchor over the bow and slowly lower. To 
To raise the anchor, again, always have someone at the bow to watch the anchor coming up and hold down on the port side. Have that person signal when to stop. Be sure not to pull the anchor up too hard or you will overload the capstan. When raising the swim platform, ensure that there is nothing in the way of the platform coming up, especially the shore power cables that could come into the way of the platform. Make sure the plank is fully removed and there is nothing obstructing the platform and there is no one standing on it or any extra weight. Hold down the up switch by the helm station to lift. Remember to do this entire process without stopping all the way to the top. Once the platform is all the way to the top, you need to press down on the platform to click it into place. When releasing the platform, there is a line underneath that pulls a pin at each end of the platform. Release this before trying to lower the platform. Hold down on the switch next to the helm station. Remember to lower the platform all the way in one movement. Once the platform is all the way to the bottom, the weight should be on these ropes on either side, not on the hydraulic ram. So make sure you push it so it's all the way down. Be careful not to overload the swim platform with more than three people on it at once. And please, no jumping on this as it could lead to it breaking. The life raft is located in the stern of the yacht. You can access this whether the swim platform is down or not by removing this panel, untying the leash, and then placing the life raft into the ocean. The life raft is marked with this sticker, life raft in here. The cooking gas bottle is located in the stern here as well. Open this to connect your bottle, remove the bottle and the cap off the top of it. Screw in the fitting for the gas. And then place back into the locker. Ensure the gas bottle is secured properly and then lock your lid. The cockpit shower is located on the aft starboard side of the cockpit. Remove the shower. To get the water to flow, push it across laterally. The mix is left or anti-clockwise for hot water and clockwise for cold water. Having it somewhere in the middle will of course give you warm water. Once you have finished, remember to close this across laterally so that it does not run. And then return the hose. Double check there is no water coming out when pressing the button. That way you will not waste your fresh water. In Nelly's centre console, there is also a fridge for drinks. At this position, it is off. You can turn it to minimum or right around to maximum. We suggest having this at about half to conserve battery. Turn this off at night. The extra equipment is located in the aft lockers or lazarettes. On the port side lazarette, we have your spare gas bottle, fins, two masks, the spinnaker sheet and the hose for refilling your water tank. The dinghy seat is also located underneath the fins here. And we have two snorkels to go with the masks. In the starboard side lazarette, we have the spare anchor and over 50 meters of line to attach to that anchor. Spare diesel container. This is not full, but you can fill this if needed. Fuel for the outboard bucket, hose for the dinghy pump, brush and sail ties, spare line, dinghy pump, baler and the oars for the dinghy. On the underside of the lazarette hatch is the emergency bilge pump handle. To operate the emergency bilge pump, lift this panel here 
plug in the handle and pump to remove water from the bilge. The autopilot controls are located on the port helm station. Press auto to engage self steer and the autopilot will hold your heading. Press plus by one degree to change your course or by 10 degrees to change by 10 degrees. Press standby to take over the helm manually. Nelly has two GPS chart plotters, one at each helm station. Nelly has two shore power cables, one for the 230 volts for the house system and the other for the air conditioning. Both of these are 16 amp lines and can be plugged into the standard 16 amp controller on the shore. They are the same line on both so it does not matter which one goes in which side. Before your charter, your technician will check all of your sails to make sure they're in good working condition. If you want to check these yourself, roll these out with two people and check over the sails. If there are any issues or defects you would like to report, take photos of this with your mobile phone and report it to the office staff. You have an in-mast furling mainsail and a furling Genoa. To open the in-mast furling mainsail, take this line here called mainsail out, wrap it on the starboard winch. On the port side, take the blue line here called mainsail in and put that on the port winch. Open the mainsail in clutch and have someone release this slowly while you grind in the mainsail out. Ensure your boat is pointing into the wind and you have someone on each control. your mainsail back in you need to reverse the process open your mainsail out outhaul line and close your mainsail in someone will grind in on the mainsail in furling line while the out line is released slowly make sure to maintain tension on the out line so that it rolls the sail into the mast clean Rolling out the Genoa, take the furling line off the rail, prepare on the port winch, and open the stop. When taking in the Genoa, Place the furling line on the port winch, close the stopper, control the starboard sheet as it goes out and grind in the furling line. Fill in the Genoa until the sheet is wrapped around once, then tighten the sheets and lock off on the winches. The VHF is on the port side of the saloon. Take the cover off, turn this knob here to turn the VHF on. To change channel, use this. And to adjust the sensitivity, use this knob here. The VHF also has a remote. This remote charges when it is on the cradle. Adjust the volume on the side here. The sensitivity can be adjusted with these arrows. The emergency distress and calling channel is channel 16. Artsy Marina and other marinas around the Croatia are channel 17. To make a call, press down on this button here, or use the handset with this button. When not using the remote, turn this off and replace in the cradle to charge.
Downstairs on the starboard side, you have the main control panel. On this panel, you can activate all of your internal lights, cabin lights, navigation lights, and everything else. This light indicates that the shore power is connected. If this light is running, reverse polarity, there is a problem with the power on the dock. The water heater pump is here, battery charger, and the AC plugs. This is all related to the 230 volt AC shore power. These will not work when you are sailing. This is for the main electric cabin lights within the yacht. 12 volt for charging, fridge, Wi-Fi internet, water pump. This is for the bilge pump. This can be set to on or to automatic. The bilge pump is located underneath the cabin sole forward of the saloon seat. It's on an automatic float switch. When this float switch lifts, the bilge pump engage. When it pumps the water out, it will stop. Your electric navigational instruments are turned on here. This is the deck floodlight for upstairs on the deck. Anchor light for when you are at anchor. Steaming lights for when you are under motor. And navigation lights for when you are under sail. This panel here displays the levels of either your battery, water tank or fuel. To test one of these, press the button relating to that option, tank 1. There are two water tanks to check on board Nelly. Press it again for tank 2 and it will show you your level. These switches over here are the AC power versus generator switch control. In this position, we are connected to the shore power and that is running the electrics. If you switch to zero, then to generator, we will be running on the generator. This is the air conditioning control. At the moment, that is also switched to shore. To turn on the air conditioning, hold down the power button. To change temperature, use the minus or plus. To change the fan speed, press fan and then plus or minus. To turn off, press the off button. This panel here controls the air conditioning for the saloon area. Also in the aft starboard bunk is the controls for the air conditioning, which controls both aft cabins. Again, press power to turn on and adjust your temperature or your fan here. These lights represent whether it is on auto, heating or cooling. The air conditioning panel for the forward cabin is located here on the port side, operates the same as all of the other panels. Remember, if you have a problem with the air conditioning, double check the main switch to see whether it is connected to the shore power or the generator. To run the air conditioning or power off the generator, first switch AC power and air conditioner to off. To start the generator, hold power on the Panda Eye Control. When it is on standby, press start. It will go through the preheat and then start automatically. It will first display override. Then after a few moments, it will switch to running. When you see running on the panel and OK on the levels, you can switch the controls to generator the air conditioning will start and the power returns to your AC 230 volt on your panel. You can now turn on the air conditioning and your air conditioning is running. Now that the generator is running fine, once you have finished using this, press stop. Once it's on standby, you can then turn off the power to the generator. Switch your AC power back to zero and your air conditioner back to zero. If you wish to use these onshore power, then back to shore. For the main breakers and fuses, they are located underneath the bunk on the aft starboard cabin. This is your switch for your engine battery. When it is in this position, it is on. Here it is disconnected. This is the main fuse, thermal fuse, for the anchor windlass. If it slips off here, then it is not running. Push down to re-engage the negative for the main batteries, and this is the domestic or house batteries. Again, this is on, off. Here is the main fuse for the swim platform. If it goes here, reconnect this way. 
All of these circuit breakers and water tank changeover valves are located under these seats. You also have your water heater here and your bulk cutters for emergencies. To change over water tanks, the valves are under this panel in the saloon. Nelly has two water tanks on board. When the valve is pointed like this with the arrows in line with the pipe, it means this is open. When it is pointed like this across the line of the pipe, it is closed. Always have one open and one closed so you know how much water you have. When changing over, open the first tank and close the second tank. Very important that if you run out of water, that you turn off your water heater so that it does not try and heat nothing. The main fuses for the air conditioning are located underneath the control panel behind the cushion. In here we have the main air conditioning breaker, the pump for the air conditioning, and then units one, two, and three. This position they are on. If this flicks down, come in and reset the fuse by turning it on. The internal switch for the cooking gas is in this cupboard here. When the switch is across the line like this, it is off and closed. When it is in line with the line, it is open. Turn this off whenever you have finished cooking. The emergency fuel shutoff valve is located in the aft port cabin underneath the bed. When it is in this position here, in line with the pipe, it is on. Turn to here to shut off the fuel in an emergency. Now he also has electric fans in each of the cabins. These move in two directions. Turn them on here by turning clockwise and for high speed again. Nelly has two fridges on board. One here is an opening door fridge and the other in the top is a chest fridge. You can control the temperature of the fridge inside the fridge here by turning this control down from maximum down to minimum. We suggest having this set in the middle to save on power. Nelly has two heads or bathrooms with toilets. The aft starboard bathroom, equipped with a holding tank, is an electric toilet. Inside this cupboard is the valve to open or close the black tank. In this position, the valve is open and all of the waste will go into the sea. In this position, the valve is closed and all of the waste will go into the holding tank. Close the valve when you are in a marina or close to shore. Open the valve to empty your holding tank when you are out at sea and away from other boats. To operate the toilets electric, the controls are mounted up here above the sink. The top button is for bringing in water and flushing at the same time. You want to hold for about five to six seconds after you have put the waste in, in order to get it up through the pipes and down into the holding tank. The bottom button is to do two separate functions. The left side is to bring water into the bowl and the right side is to suck the water out of the bowl. When you are going sailing, suck all of the water out so that it does not spill. If you have any issues with your electric toilets, please contact the NOAA service team immediately. Remember, only what comes out of your body goes into the toilet. Do not put any toilet paper or waste products, sanitary items down the toilet. Use the bins provided and then dispose of the waste on shore. For the aft starboard bathroom, the shower drain is activated by pushing this small black button here. The pump is on a timer and will automatically cut out after 10 seconds. Push this button as you need when showering to drain the water from the boat. The second bathroom on board Nelly is in the owner's cabin in the bow. The valve for the black water tank for this bathroom is inside the cupboard here. Again, when it is in line like this, it is open. And when it is across the line like this, it is closed. To operate the manual pump toilet, you have two positions on this control. When it is over to the right, it will take water out of the bowl and into the black tank. When it is pushed over to the left, it will pump water in and take water out. When coming to the toilet, pump a little bit through the system first. Once you have been to the toilet, flick over to the remove water on the right and remove the waste. Then move the switch to the left and pump 15 to 20 times to get the waste all the way up through the pipes and down into the black tank. Remember to flick it over to 
remove the water to pump out the water when you are sailing. Chart table is located here. Inside the chart table you have your charts, plotting equipment. In this cabin you have the Croatian pilots and cruising guides, also the manuals for the yacht and the binoculars. In here we have the light for the cockpit table and a flashlight. All of your safety equipment is located under these two seats. In this equipment we have a dry bag, the fog horn, thermal blankets for emergencies, day shapes for anchoring and motor sailing, dinghy repair kit, fire extinguisher, toolbox. This is the collection of spare parts for your engine. If you have any problems with your engine, please contact NOAA services straight away. These are spare belts for the engine, impellers and filters. Here we have all of your flares for emergency use, your harnesses and tethers, oil filter, bosun's chair, and these short legs are the short legs to put down the saloon table to make into a bed. This is your storm anchor or drogue. Nelly is equipped with two fire extinguishers. One is located just in the forward of the saloon close to the owner's cabin door. The second fire extinguisher is in the equipment locker underneath the saloon seats. This fire extinguisher during your charter will be placed in the outside starboard lazarette. Life jackets are located in the forward port lockers of the master cabin. And also in the aft port cabin we have another four life jackets for adults. Thank you for watching this video check-in for the Beneteau Oceanus 45. I hope you have an amazing week. We'll see you when you get back.